Welcome, dear viewers, on the Abu Bakr Yendin channel. We will talking about woodworking, carpentry, simple ideas of wood. Let's watch these ideas. Wood is a porous and fibrous structural tissue found in the stems and roots of trees and other woody plants. It is an organic material, a natural composite of cellulose fibers that are strong in tension and embedded in a matrix of lignin that resists compression. Wood is sometimes defined as only the secondary xylem in the stems of trees, or it is defined more broadly to include the same type of tissue elsewhere such as in the roots of trees or shrubs. In a living tree it performs a support function, enabling woody plants to grow large or to stand up by themselves. It also conveys water and nutrients between the leaves, other growing tissues, and the roots. Wood may also refer to other plant materials with comparable properties, and to material engineered from wood, or wood chips or fiber. Wood has been used for thousands of years for fuel, as a construction material, for making tools and weapons, furniture, and paper. More recently it emerged as a feedstock for the production of purified cellulose and its derivatives, such as cellophane and cellulose acetate. As of 2005, the growing stock of forests worldwide was about 434 billion cubic meters, 47% of which was commercial. As an abundant, carbon neutral renewable resource, woody materials have been of intense interest as a source of renewable energy. In 1991, approximately 3.5 billion cubic meters of wood were harvested. Dominant uses were for furniture and building construction. Wood has been an important construction material since humans began building shelters, houses, and boats. Nearly all boats were made out of wood until the late 19th century, and wood remains in common use today in boat construction. Elm in particular was used for this purpose as it resisted decay as long as it was kept wet, it also served for water pipe before the advent of more modern plumbing. Wood to be used for construction work is commonly known as lumber in North America. Elsewhere, lumber usually refers to felled trees, and the word for sawn planks ready for use is timber. In medieval Europe oak was the wood of choice for all wood construction, including beams, walls, doors, and floors. Today a wider variety of woods is used, solid wood doors are often made from poplar, small knotted pine, and Douglas fir. A solid wood floor is a floor laid with planks or battens created from a single piece of timber, usually a hardwood. Since wood is hydroscopic, it acquires and loses moisture from the ambient conditions around it, this potential instability effectively limits the length and width of the boards. Solid hardwood flooring is usually cheaper than engineered timbers and damaged areas can be sanded down and refinished repeatedly, the number of times being limited only by the thickness of wood above the tongue. Solid hardwood floors were originally used for structural purposes, being installed perpendicular to the wooden support beams of a building, the joists or bearers, and solid construction timber is still often used for sports floors as well as most traditional wood blocks, mosaics, and parquetry. Engineered Products Main Article, Engineered Wood Engineered Wood Products, Glued Building Products Engineered for Application-Specific Performance Requirements, are often used in construction and industrial applications. Glued engineered wood products are manufactured by bonding together wood strands, veneers, lumber or other forms of wood fiber with glue to form a larger, more efficient composite structural unit. These products include glued laminated timber, gliolom, wood structural panels, including plywood, oriented strand board and composite panels, laminated veneer lumber, LVL, and other structural composite lumber, SEL, products, parallel strand lumber and I joists that approximately 100 million cubic meters of wood was consumed for this purpose in 1991 3 the trends suggest that particle board and fiber board will overtake plywood wood unsuitable for construction in its native form may be broken down mechanically into fibers or chips or chemically into cellulose and used as a raw material for other building materials such as engineered wood as well as chipboard hardboard and medium density fiber board MDF such wood derivatives are widely used, wood fibers are an important component of most paper, and cellulose is used as a component of some synthetic materials. Wood derivatives can be used for kinds of flooring, for example laminate flooring. Furniture and utensils wood has always been used extensively for furniture.
We hope you enjoy these creative ideas in the wood world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Abu Bakr Yendin channel.